measuring requirements quality. This particular uh, chart shows the effect of reduction in changes to requirements by adopting a requirements discovery process. So you'll see on the on the chart there it says RDP. That stands for requirements discovery process. Is what we do a process? Is it a methodology? Is it a framework? And I think it's more of a framework because it's very adaptable. But suffice it to say, using the requirements discovery process in broad terms that we espouse, um, you'll see in organizations that we've worked in before we were involved on projects, um, I think it was 32 projects total counted here, the high number of changes per 100 requirements was 78, the low was 11, the average was 32. Post IAG consulting, using a new discovery process, the average dropped from 32 to 8. That's a decrease of 75% in changes per 100 requirements. And, and all of you know that a whole lot of the churn on a project, a whole lot of the time and the heartaches and the, and the difficulties is, is changing requirements. New requirements, old requirements that changed. Um, changes are made, typically made during review and sign-off, could be during design, prototype walkthroughs, and during testing. Now, we're not even including changes that show up as change requests post-implementation. That's not even part of this measure. But uh, frankly, I believe it should be because um, think about it. How many uh, change requests that uh, arise in the first three to six months post-implementation are really changes? Are they not just requirements that got missed dur during the initial go-round? Go so there's a great cost to, to dealing with those as well. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and additional resources are in the description box below.